America is and always has been the land of the free. For the rich, you were a slave on the cotton fields? Tough luck, you were a Chinese immigrant building the railroads? Get to work, some poor worker in a factory? A miner in a company town? Or homeless today and camping on the side? Arrested, America's freedoms really are, and were since the very beginning. Only for the rich, everyone else gets steamrolled. This country was built on a foundation of racism as well. No matter how many civil rights laws have passed in the last 100 years, America's foundation will always be there. You forgot to add USA is enforcing that on every other country as well. And USA ain't alone in doing it either. Biggest lie in human history. There is a guy in the sky who watches what you do and will provide you with everlasting happiness. As long as you follow the dogma set by the church. Second biggest lie in human history. America is the greatest country in the world. Land of ruins home of the slaves. A system made by the rich to benefit the rich while the working class fights over their favorite. Color. Well duh, America is a company town. Has been from the very start and even before. Not exclusive to this pitiful excuse of a land IMHO. Dot can be applied everywhere. We are still slaves today, but as being in debt. It's a club and we're not in it. To be fair, that is the entire history of the civilized world. Rich and powerful stepping on the backs of the poor. Not sure it has ever been any other way. And don't see it changing soon. Your rant has a very Langston Hughes, let America be America again, feel. Edit. Forgot the E in Hughes. You were always the slave of having to find food, water, shelter and clothing. Society made that a little easier and allowed far more of us to make it. And added extra bonuses like education, sewers, healthcare, and not being trapped into what your mom or dad did. We all know you can fantastic success there if you make it. What I don't understand is the mentality of those at the top. I mean just from a self-interest pov isn't it better to celebrate your success in a healthy society rather than discontent? Isn't that worth a few percent or whatever? I'd think so. In English America, something tells me the natives had a different way of seeing things. And rich created opioid crisis and other SHT to killing everybody without consequences. What are some countries someone should genuinely consider moving to? The land of the free with the highest incarceration rate. People go to prison for a small amount of marijuana that literally hurt nobody. Yet assholes who steal millions of hard-earned dollars from widows and retirees get a slap on the hand. Time to fight back. The country was founded by a group to rich, white, slave-owning, tax dodgers, who used patriotic jingoism to get peasants to fight their battles for them. The more things change the more things stay the same I guess. You have the freedom to take or quit any job you choose. You have the freedom of speech. As this sub proves, you have the freedom to choose your own lifestyle. You have the freedom to pursue happiness. Not saying those things always just falls in your lap. But it's more than some have in this world. I say take what you can. Fight for what you feel is right. Those two are freedoms. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.